Today we're going to be tackling lesson 12, DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. For this lesson we'll be needing the Elego Mega 2560R3, the DHT11 sensor, and 3 F to M wires. Let's dive in. The lesson plan starts by introducing the DHT11 sensor. It comes with a NTC to read temperature and humidity. An NTC stands for a negative temperature coefficient and it's essentially a resistor that decreases the higher the temperature rises. Combined with an 8-bit controller, it can then relay that information to our serial monitor and receive real-time information of the temperature and humidity. It reads temperature ranges of 0 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius and humidity levels between 20% to 90%. It's also pre-calibrated in the factory, which makes it very user-friendly. Now for the wiring diagram. Here we have the ground, 5 volt, and D2 PWM connected to the DHT11 sensor via our F to M wires. A very simple and surprising setup to be able to measure temperature and humidity, which is pretty neat. Okay, now for the code itself, they don't really give any type of analysis of the code, which is kind of annoying because when you want to do these projects in the future, it would be nice to kind of build a foundation instead of just mindlessly clicking upload. So I'm going to try to convey the code to the best of my ability after doing a lot of research into it. And yeah, let's, let's get started. First, we need to include the library. That would be DHT underscore non blocking dot H. First, we click sketch, include a library, add zip library, find our master file, select that. English code lesson 12 and then DHT and then we click open uh, I've already done it so I don't want to mess it up I'm just gonna keep going so static constant integer DHT underscore sensor underscore pin equals 2 permanently assigns the DHT sensor to the D2 PWM DHT non blocking follows and from what it looks like this line of code is defining the sensor itself from the library that we included earlier. Void setup has the serial monitor begin tracking information sent at 9600 bouts, or 9600 bits a second. Static bool measure environment checks to see if there's a measurement received from the sensor in the form of a true or false statement. If true, the temperature and humidity is received via float temperature and float humidity. Float is just used for values that are received with decimals. Static unsigned long measurement underscore timestamp sets a permanent value for milliseconds in the form of the number of milliseconds passed. Now this code has a comment that says it measures once every four seconds and that's pretty much what it does. The code pretty much executes that if a temperature and humidity output can be received, then every four seconds there will be a return to our serial monitor with a reading. Void loop uses float temperature and float humidity, which uh, again, float is used to receive integers with decimals. The next set of code explains that if there's a measurement received, it should be displayed on the serial monitor in this format. Okay, with that out of the way, let's build it. 